I've been hearing about like jaywalking a lot, like in videos and stuff, like American videos and stuff like that. And I know that it's like to cross the road where there's not many crossing, but I really wanted to know more about it. So <laughs> I went on the Wikipedia page. But apparently, jaywalking is where you cross the road illegally or recklessly, which in America is quite big, like. But in England, it's not known. You can cross the road wherever. And I'm thinking, because I used to walk to school, I walk everywhere basically. We have one car and it's my brother's and he's at work the majority of the time or out and my mum cannot drive his car so yeah we only have one brother's car so I would walk everywhere so I cross about five roads walking to school only one of them has like it's like one of the roads where cars go that way cars go that way and there's a little area in the middle where it's kind of like an island I guess it's always called an island and you cross one bit and then you wait and then you cross the other bit that's the only like safety way of crossing <laughs> and I know this because the other night I walked home and I almost got run over four times which was partly my fault one of them the first time no this was the second time <laughs> um, it was by an ambulance and I found it quite funny if I'd have got hit by an ambulance because it was like well you'd have hit me and I'd have been safe straight away hopefully <laughs> but I found it quite ironic but it was basically my fault that I almost got run over four times because my brain, I was in such a bad mood and my brain was not processing the car, I would walk and I'd see no car. So I'd walk and then I'd see the car and then my brain would be like, you should have done the car! And then I ran. And then four times, so, so actually I only ran three times <laughs> the third time. It was like, this was all going up one road. There's this one road and it's really long, it takes me about 10 minutes to walk up, maybe 15. And I think this is a hard day or not. This was 10 minutes to walk down and it takes a piss. <laughs> I hit a walk and I and I got to the top and then I crossed over and I processed, I thought right I'm not going to get run over I looked, there's a car, another car, another car, no car started walking and then a car appeared and I looked at it, I was still walking in just stopping in the middle of it I looked at it and I thought I'm not running for you and I just walked because this car was like coming towards me I was walking, no, I'm not running so I basically, if jaywalking was in England I'd be doing it all the time but I don't understand, like, I've never been to America, so I don't know the streets. But is there, like, somewhere every street or something, like, even side streets, or, I don't know, really the rules of jaywalking? I used to live in New Zealand, I don't know if you know that. I have family over there, I used to live there. Yeah. Apparently, in New Zealand, a child pedestrian can be fined 108 New Zealand dollars for jaywalking. And an adult pedestrian can be fined £4,000. 4000 pounds. 4000 pounds for you new no not you for thousand New Zealand dollars I guess I can use for jaywalking I cannot remember much about crossing the road in New Zealand one thing you might realize is that a lot of people go across the road sideways and um, my friend also noticed this because she goes to New Zealand practically every year I could be fined for that really but oh but but wait, wait. you can only be fined for crossing the road without using a marked crossing if there's one within 20 meters of crossing at a red light I'm confused about all that, but crossing a red light, so if there's like a traffic light and you cross, is that, you get fined. And who finds you? Who like, who tells you? I, it's confusing. I think jaywalking is also popular in Singapore. I've been to Singapore. <laughs> I love the way that this is phrased. Singapore has a fairly harsh view of jaywalking, and one can go to prison if it goes to court. If it's like one, it makes me feel, it sounds really fortunate, one can go to prison if Apparently you can go to prison in Singapore, but normally you are fined 20 Singapore dollars. I'm guessing this is S and then dollars. Yeah, the maximum penalty is three months in jail. Imagine being in a cell with a murderer. And this is how the conversation would go. So, how come you're here? Oh, you know, I am. Um, I, I crossed the street without those like flashing green men to tell me go. It was kind of down the road and I really needed to go to this other place, so I thought that it was... It is fine that going down the road to cross and walking back on myself. I just crossed and got three months in jail. Why are you here? I I, I caught my ex girlfriend sleeping around, so I killed that bitch. Oh 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 cool yeah, it's cool. It's quite scary jail. Find me whenever I go to somewhere like America or New Zealand or Singapore or anywhere else that the jaywalking just anywhere outside of the UK to cross where there's where you're allowed because it's kind of scary. Have you ever jaywalked? Do you jaywalk all the time like me? Have that. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm like, yeah, I'm jaywalking, bitch. What's up?
world is crazy. Jaywalking is crazy. I don't like it. This world is scary. I don't want to be a worst just crossing the world. I have to go outside now. And there has been everything you need to know about jaywalking. See you later.